What's up guys and welcome to my guide about how to make one of these, an ice bandana which you can use to keep yourself cool on those hot runs. I didn't come up with this idea. Uh, a lot of elites and trail runners around the world, particularly in the US, have been wearing these for a long time. I've seen a lot of races with elites a bandana around their neck, completely wrapped and jammed full of ice, so I thought I'd have a go at making one myself. I found a guide about how to make one of these, which I've slightly modified, added the link below so you can see where it originally came from. Uh, the difference of mine is I've made a, a dual-sided pocket to hold the ice. Um, I've already made one, and I'm going to make another one today, so let's get started. So this is a bandana that I've already made. It is a standard size bandana, if I show you here, 55 centimeters by 55 centimeters. I got it on Amazon for about 50p. Um, I have also then attached a pocket, which I have made out of a car cloth chamois. Uh, the pocket is 15 centimeters by 20, and that's it. Today I'm gonna to try making one with a leather chamois to see if that makes any difference to the absorption and how much the water gets released and the smoothness on your back. So guys, this is the leather chamois that arrived yesterday. I have already drawn on the template of the square I need to cut out. This is 20 centimeters by 30. Um, so 20 centimeters horizontal and 30 where it folds up and makes the pocket. I'll show you guys all of that. materials just on touch the leather one is much much nicer very soft I can imagine in general this being better on the back of the neck whereas the cloth is a little bit harder a little bit more rough but because of the way it's designed it's going to fold over like such so only the outside material is ever going to be on the back of your neck so like such this feels absolutely fine, it feels lovely. I mean, it will feel different when there's ice in there. So if I just do the same with this one, already I can feel it doesn't want to bend quite as much. And here, yeah, it's a bit stiffer on the back of the neck. So um, already I'm feeling like I'm leaning towards the leather one. Right. So I'm gonna try this on the back of my neck. soft There's a lot of ice in here I probably wouldn't have quite as much so far it's not as cold as I imagined it would be let's take it off I'm gonna give it a bit more time to soak through uh, hey guys so a little bit of an update on these it's been about a week since I've made them and I've put them through some vigorous testing so let's start with my kind of favourite, which was the leather pouch bandana. This one um, was really soft on the back of the neck. I really enjoyed wearing it. In terms of the ice and how cool it kept you, uh, it kept you very cool, uh, but it seemed to take slightly longer for the coldness and the icy, watery feeling to come through on this one compared to the synthetic cloth one. Um, Maybe the material slightly thicker, but if anything, I found it quite a good thing because it just meant that on those long runs it wasn't melting quite so quick, and it wasn't um, it wasn't needing replenishing anytime sooner. So I really like this one. The only thing I'd say though is obviously this material's gone slightly red. I'm sure that's just the colour that's come out this black bandana. Doesn't matter. It took longer to dry, if you care about that. Um, so this one. It cools you down nice and quick. Um, it holds the same amount um, 
it didn't seem to melt that much quicker, just maybe a tad quicker. Um, after being wet and drying, this material now feels slightly softer, so maybe that's all it needed. So really, there's not much in between the two. If I lost both of them and I had to make one again, I'd make one of these. So that's my advice to anyone. If you're making one of these, get yourself a leather chamois. Even though it's trickier to make, it's generally better. You don't want something irritating the back of your neck if you're doing, you know, three four hours running. You want something to keep you cool for a long amount of time, and this ticks both the boxes. So that's it. I would go for the leather one. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Any tips or advice, let me know in the comments below. I might have a go at making a slight modification to this in the near future. We'll see. Um, and if that works better, I'll make another video. Anyway, so thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please like and comment. And if you want to see more, please subscribe down there.